In space, no one can hear you scream. Even though that's the tagline to one of the greatest science fiction movies ever made, there is some truth to it. Astronauts are isolated from the rest of the world while they're up there, far from the safety of home, out in the cold, vast black void that is space. So here are some of their stories. We're gonna start off the list with an incredibly alarming situation. Really, this is the last thing you'd want to find in space, aside from an alien face hugger on board. A freaking air leak. On the 6th of June of 2018, the Soyuz MS-09 mission launched. Three astronauts, including a Russian commander and two flight engineers, one American and one German, were transported to the International Space Station. For a couple of months, their time on the ISS was pretty routine, as routine as being in the middle of space can be, anyway. That was until the 29th of August. It was in the middle of the night, and the crew received a message from Mission Control. They detected a slight change in air pressure and found that there was a small air leak there was a two millimeter hole in the orbital module. So two millimeters, tiny, but in space, this would be incredibly alarming. Fortunately, they managed to seal up the hole and there were no more changes in air pressure, but they had some questions as to how this hole got there in the first place. And it turns out something shady could have gone on. Apparently this hole had been hidden with a quote, low quality patch job and had apparently been created with a drill. Russian officials became suspicious of NASA, accusing them of intentionally sabotaging the mission. There were even theories that one of the crew members themselves drilled the hole as it was found to have been drilled from the inside. A Russian tabloid accused the American astronaut on board of creating the hole after she apparently had a failed romantic relationship with another member of the crew. Just really outlandish stuff. The whole thing was a complete mess and we still don't know exactly what went on here. Next on the list we have the Space Snake. Story Musgrave is a retired NASA astronaut who's had more experience in space than most in the field. He also has six degrees. He's a physician, a mathematician. The man is incredibly experienced and intelligent. He also firmly believes that there is life out in space. And he may have had a first-hand experience. He claimed to have seen an eight-foot-long snake-like creature on, on two separate space missions. He was featured on an episode of the TV series Sightings, speaking about his odd experiences with the creature, and was quoted saying, on two of my missions, and I still don't have an answer, I have seen a snake out there, six, seven, eight feet long. It is rubbery because it has internal waves in it and it follows you for a rather long period of time. The more you fly in space, the more you see an incredible amount of things out there and that sort of brings to you really a certainty that other living creatures are out there. Some incredibly primitive, more primitive, some just uh, proteins coming together, amino acids, and just some single cell organisms, and other civilizations that have been around for a million years that are doing unimaginable kinds of things. The SpaceX CRS-7 incident. The SpaceX-7 was a mission to send an uncrewed spacecraft the Dragon to resupply the International Space Station. It was the Dragon's ninth flight that launched from the Falcon 9 launch vehicle. And at first, everything seemed fine, but 139 seconds into the launch, a cloud of white vapor appeared, and there was a sudden loss of pressure in the liquid oxygen tank of the Falcon 9's rocket's second stage. The rocket continued for a few seconds before breaking apart. The Dragon CRS-7 capsule was thrown clear of the explosion and hit the ocean. SpaceX said the capsule could have been saved if the parachutes had deployed, but the software didn't have the right instructions for that situation. It was found that a metal piece called a strut had failed. This particular strut held a high pressure helium bottle in place within the rocket's liquid oxygen tank. Because the strut failed, helium rushed into the tank, causing too much pressure and it eventually burst. Now, luckily, there was nobody on board. Again, this was an unmanned mission, but it just goes to show how much of a risk spaceflight is. Every time astronauts launch into space, they're risking their lives. Think things can just go wrong at the drop of a hat. The same goes for this next failed mission, the Cygnus Orb 3. Again, nobody aboard, 
but it would have been disastrous if there was. So this was an attempted flight of an automated cargo spacecraft. Again, it would have brought food and supplies to the crew of the International Space Station. This would have been Cygnus's fourth flight to the ISS. The Antares rocket carrying the Cygnus spacecraft launched on October 28th, 2014. Just 15 seconds after liftoff though, there was a failure in the first stage's propulsion system. The rocket started falling back to the launch pad. This could have been quite a disaster. A rocket plummeting into the earth, you know, might cause some bodily harm to workers down there. So in order to prevent that from happening, the range safety officer activated the flight termination system. Basically the thing self-destructed just before hitting the ground. How awesome would it be to press a button that makes a rocket explode in midair. I imagine it being a big like red button with like explode written on it, but it's probably a bit more sophisticated than that. This explosion was so intense though that it could be felt 20 miles away. Thankfully, no one was injured, but there was substantial damage to the launch pad. Next on the list, we have the Nauka Thruster Glitch. Nauka, or the Multi-Purpose Laboratory Module, is a module of the International Space Station. When it successfully docked on the station on July 29th of 2021, something kinda scary happened. Its thrusters started acting up, causing the entire station to rotate around. So the Nauka successfully docked with the ISS and everything seemed fine, but a few hours later, while the crew was preparing to open hatches, Nauka's onboard computers had a glitch. This caused the module to unexpectedly fire its thrusters, making the ISS suddenly rotate. Now astronauts are trained to deal with stuff like this. They know that glitches can happen and things can go wrong, but just imagining being out in a, in a rotating space station in the middle of the black void of space, that's a pretty freaky situation to be in. Ground controllers were able to fix the glitch though, and the station eventually returned to its proper position. All right, you know what really sucks? Toilet trouble. Issues with plumbing, it just completely upends your life. You feel lost and confused. As bad as a broken toilet is here on Earth though, imagine being stuck up in space and realizing you have a busted crapper. That is a truly horrifying thing to discover. In 2021, astronauts departing from the ISS realized they were gonna have to head back to Earth without a toilet. The four astronauts had a 20 hour journey back to Earth in their SpaceX capsule and they'd have to do their business in diapers the entire time. Oh, and this is the same crew that had to endure the whole thruster malfunction that had the entire space station rotating, uh, by the way. Uh, not the luckiest bunch here. By Earth standards, anyway. By astronaut standards, I guess they kind of are pretty lucky because they made it to space and back without, you know, dying. Next up, we have even more toilet trouble. Uh, turns out there's been issues on the International Space Station as well. This incident happened back in 2019. The crew of the ISS was attempting to upgrade their toilet and ended up causing a water leak. The toilet they currently had on board had been installed in 2008 and was a bit outdated. This new universal waste management system would be less clunky, it was cleaner, and just overall more efficient. But one of the water pipes leaked and two and a half gallons of water started floating about the station, which the astronauts then had to collect. Luckily, the pipe leaked before the toilet was officially christened because that would have been truly nightmarish. Floating around, collecting water, fine. Actually might've been kind of fun. Floating around in space having to gather up yellow or brown water, not quite as enjoyable. I also don't know why they didn't install that toilet when the capsule was still on the ground, but oh no, it's on the space station that's up in space, Never mind. In June of 1965, astronauts Ed White and James McDivitt spotted something strange while passing over Hawaii. They were in a Gemini spacecraft when they spotted something that looked like a UFO. It was metallic and they also described it having long arms sticking out of it. McDivitt spotted the object while White was asleep, he grabbed a 16 millimeter film camera to try and take footage of the object. White then woke up saying he spotted the thing as well. McDivitt contacted the capsule coordinator attempting to describe what they were seeing. In part of the transcript, McDivitt is quoted saying, I just saw something else up here with me, but just as I was getting close enough to take a good picture, the sun got in the way and I lost it. He went on to say, it had big arms sticking out of it, it looked like. I only had it for just a minute. I got a couple of pictures with a movie camera and one with the Hasselblad, but I was in free drift. Before I could get the control back, I drifted 
and lost it. Now this one needs to be taken with a grain of salt, or a lot of grains. It's a Reddit post made by a now deleted user attempting to stay anonymous. They claim to be an ex-astronaut who experienced something strange while on a mission, and I just think this is a spooky story, real or not. They write, I can't disclose my identity, but let's just say I've been around the celestial block a few times. It was a routine spacewalk checking the exterior of the ISS. Everything was humming along when I noticed this faint glow just beyond the Earth's horizon. At first I thought it was the sun playing tricks, but this was different. It was a subtle shimmer, almost mirage-like. I radioed Houston to check if there were any anomalies, but they said all systems were normal. It was just strange, a gentle, pulsating light, and not blinding, but kind of hypnotic. As I reached out to grab a handrail, I felt a strange, static charge. That's when things got downright eerie. I saw these tiny, luminous particles dancing around me, forming intricate patterns. Suddenly, the particles converged into this figure, humanoid in shape, but made of pure light. It just hovered there, staring at me. No facial features, just a luminous silhouette. The next thing I knew, the figure disappeared into those shimmering particles and floated away. I radioed Houston, but they couldn't pick up anything unusual on their end. I finished the spacewalk, returned to the station, and went about my duties like nothing happened. But every time I look down at Earth, I can't shake the feeling that there's something out there, something beyond our understanding. Call it space-induced hallucination or whatever, but I swear that encounter was unlike anything I've ever experienced. And finally, we have the tale of the knocking. So in 2003, Chinese astronaut Yang Liwei was launched on his first mission up to the vast darkness of space. He was China's first man in space. He was sent up in a small craft all alone. Again, first time. Brave dude right here. Going up to space would be scary enough as it is, uh, but things got creepy when Li Wei started hearing something. He was in space all alone when he began hearing what sounded like a knock on the spacecraft. He described it as, quote, someone knocking the body of the spaceship, just as knocking an iron bucket with a wooden hammer, and went on to say it neither came from outside nor inside the spaceship. He took a look outside the porthole and nothing, which was actually Probably a relief. Here on Earth, if we heard a knocking sound on our door and opened it only to find there was nothing there, we'd be totally freaked out, right? But in space, probably for the best, we don't see anyone or anything. Once he returned to Earth, he tried to recreate the sound, but was never able to. It's still a mystery as to what he was hearing up there. With all that said, I've been your host, James, and I'll catch you, yes, you specifically, in the next video. Mm -hmm.